Welcome to FaithWorks, the enlightening and empowering program that builds your faith to help you overcome every single challenge in this life. My name is Kaude Adeshoga. I'm your host. I want you to sit back, listen, and be blessed. God bless you. Amen. 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 For your body to be in health, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 1 to 8. I noticed something about that Proverbs chapter 3. It tells so many things. And it gives you, if you do this, this is what you get. If you do this, this is what you get. It's one of the most fantastic scriptures in the Bible. It says, my son, forget not my word. Let your heart keep my word. Length of days, long life and peace. Will it add to you? So, if you keep the word of God, it will give you length of days, long life, and peace. Then he goes to verse 3. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about your neck. Write them upon the table of your heart. Now, if you have mercy, and then you walk in mercy, then he gives you what will happen. The first one, he says, if you want long life, Peace, he says, keep the word of God and don't forget it. Then he says, if you want to find favor in your life, be merciful and show it. Verse 4, then you will find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. I love Proverbs 3. So many things and so many benefits following. Verse 5, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge God, and he shall direct your path. Be not wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. Verse 8, it shall be health to thy neighbor and marrow to thy bones. Let me make one statement. Medically, arthritis is usually caused by maybe weight or stuff, but I will show you. That it is, if you, uh, I'm not asking you to be overweight because the Lord appeared to me and told me not to cross a weight level for my health's sake. So wisdom is important to know based on your height, your metabolism, and your manner of life to know what weight is suitable for you. But I found out it is more of the word of God not be given access into the bones and marrow. The logos cannot enter the bones and marrow. So the word of God is quick and what? Powerful. Living. That's the word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. He says, for it is a divider of the spirit and the soul, discerning the hearts, Piercing to the bones. Go and check it well. And the marrow. If that, that's one of the things I'll be doing in this meeting. Especially those of you who have arthritis. I will bring the word from the mouth of God. I will release it into your bones and your marrows. I guarantee you, you will not feel any pain again. In the name of Jesus. You may need to walk on your weight to be fit. But you will not have pain. Why? He said that word will lubricate the bones. It will find it's a spirit. It's a spirit. Kalivo Shana Makataya. It will divide the spirit from the soul, pierce to the bone. What is it going to be doing at the bone? It will be lubricating it. It will be lubricating it. And that's one of the major causes of arthritis. It will lubricate everything. All the pains will vanish. When I'll be ministering healing, I'll come armed with a word from the mouth of the Almighty. And I will release it. And anyone who receives it, oh Jesus, say the word of God is life to them that find it and what? Medicine to their flesh. It will be drugs you'll be taking, but not prescription from doctors on earth. Prescription from the Jehovah. 
my healer it will give you that word this fire bread it will disappear Proverbs chapter 4, from verse 20. My son, attend to my words. Incline thy ear unto my sayings. 21. Let them not depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of thy heart. For they are life to them that find it, and health to all their flesh. If you keep such a word in your heart, it will be behaving as medicine. So when there is a form of an alien, you know, in your human body has what they call white blood cells. They fight germs and foreign bodies. It says the word of God will be your white blood cells. It says as germs approach, it says they will form antibodies and destroy all of them. You, 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 praise Jesus. I, I think I need to go to that scripture that talks about the word of God quick. is in 1 Timothy. Quick and powerful. We're talking about the spoken word. The spoken word. The spoken word. The spoken word of the Almighty. Turn to Hebrews chapter 4. Sorry, it's not Timothy. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. And this is what the Bible is saying. If you can keep God's word that proceeds from his mouth in your heart, you will dwell in health. Why will you dwell in health? Because it is medicine. What do you need medicine for? You need medicine to cure. You need medicine to renew. You need medicine to re-energize. There are people that take antibiotics because they are sick. They take it because they are sick. There are people that take multivitamins, not because they are sick, just to be fit and strong. So what does the word of God do? If there's a germ, it will change to an antibiotic and drive it out. If there's a fatigue, it will turn to multivitamin and quicken it. That's why it says if the spirit that raised Jesus from the dead was, he said it will what? Quicken. The word quicken means energize. Your mortal body. If you don't have it, I'll bring it to you. That's my job. I will deliver it to you. And I'm bringing it. Yeah. <laughs> you will walk in such health. You know, if you look at how God taught us redemption against miscarriages, once that anointing is quickened, you are not allowed to sit down and be resting. You are not allowed. You work. Our sister was sewing. <laughs> Glory. Kale was shot. But that anointing sat on her with that pregnancy. And she was sewing with manual machine. So she was feeling pain. And the doctor was saying, wow, what's causing it? The doctor said, then he asked, do you work on manual machine? He said, yes. Do you vibrate? He said, oh, that's the problem. That was enough to get rid of the baby. But he couldn't. He couldn't. He says, we are kept. That baby is kept by the power of the almighty God. Through faith. Through faith. What if she continued? She would just be getting discomfort. That's all. It can't go anywhere. It can't go anywhere. That anointing. And there's an anointing like that. And a word. That word will generate an anointing that can keep your body like that. That even you are eating junk, you still won't fall sick. You may not be fit well, but you won't fall sick. Just not be sick. It's a redemption that is to happen at rapture that we're going to use faith to drag down and get it here in Jesus' name. Listen, after this session, I only pray for those who are not members of this ministry for healing because none of you will fall sick again. We have a healing meeting. It's for outsiders. Tune before you. Say Hebrews 4.12, the word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit. So it will cure the emotional distress. 
whether it's rape or anything, it will cure it. Which social media cannot cure. Social media will comfort. God will cure. And of joints, those are bones, whether by the arms or the knees. And marrow, bone marrows, it will deal with all blood issues. They are all made in the bone marrow. Kalabo changa chamakacha. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. In James chapter 3, he says, when you put this word in your mouth, he says, you know that, you know, that's what mama said last Sunday. He says, I will recite my composition. That's Psalm 45. Concerning the king. He says, for my tongue is the pen of what? A ready writer. So my tongue writes the word of God in my heart. So your tongue is a pen, while your heart, it says, write it upon the tablets of your heart. So the Bible makes it clear. Your heart is a tablet, your tongue is a pen. So how does your tongue write on your heart? By speaking. So he said, if you speak that word that comes to you, he said, it will be deposited in the tablets of your heart. Then James 3 says that everything, the, the, the mouth, the tongue, I, I think I need to go there so that we need to, James chapter 3. I read from verse 1 to 6. My brethren, be not many masters, knowing that we shall receive the greater condemnation. For in many things we offend all. If any man offend not in word, the same is a perfect man, and able also to bridle the whole body. How do you not offend in word? By speaking the word of God. Then you can what? Bridle your body. We put bits in horses' mouth, that they may obey us. We turn about their whole body. Behold also the ships, which though they be great and are dri Now, we're, we're going to deal with this later, but let me first start even. It says, I pray above all things that thou mayest be in health. I come against any form of pain Amen. in your bodies Amen. in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Bible says, Jesus bore your pain. He carried your pain. If he carried it, then you have no business bearing it again. And so I command pain in your body to lose his grip Amen. and go to the cross of Calvary Amen. where Jesus left it Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. I release peace Amen. into your bones. Amen. Peace Amen. into your cells. Amen. I release peace Amen. into your tissue. I can feel it like a spirit is moving. Into your tissues. I address your organs, your lungs, your heart, your kidneys, your stomach, your intestine, your colons, your bone marrow. Receive the peace of God in the name of Jesus. I command every aspect of your body to begin to glorify God. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Anything God has not planted in your body. The Bible says, any tree my father has not planted shall be uprooted. Bring it forth fruits of sickness. I command it to be uprooted. Amen. And be cast into the sea. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Again, I release peace into your mortal body. Amen. Let it rain and abide in your body. And bring glory to the great God Almighty. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Do you desire to live and operate God's way of doing things? Do you desire to understand how faith works? Fundamentals of Faith is a book written by Kayode Adishoga. It teaches in simple terms how to operate the God kind of faith that helps you overcome all hurdles of life. 
Fundamentals of Faith is available for purchase at Trem Bookshop Obani Koro Lagos and Bible Wonderland Stadium Surulere Lagos. Get a copy today. Amen. You can have your seat. So it has begun. But I'll perfect it with the word. Why again? When we perfect it with the word, it says a demon that's been cast out of a body goes through dry places seeking rest. Seeing none, he has none. He comes back to his former abode, seeing it is swept, garnished, and empty. Goes to find seven more wicked spirits and they stay there. When the word comes, it cannot return. It cannot return. The sickness cannot return. The demons cannot return. Amen. That's the essence of getting the word. It doesn't stop you from getting healed. But what it does is that when it comes into your life, that sickness can never rear its head again. Amen. Also to buttress Jeremiah 20. When the word comes, it's not just going to, you know, it's not just going to stay in your spirit. Jeremiah chapter 20 says in verse 9, Then I said, I will not make mention on him, nor speak any more in his name. But his word which he spoke was in my heart. So where did the word come first to? It entered the heart. What was it doing in the heart? It was burning. Because it's living. It's not a dead thing. It's a living component. It's an organism. It's a spirit. It's burning in the heart. Where did it shut up to? Read it. Is, there, is it not up? Was in my heart burning? Where was it shut up? In my bones. That word will get, it always get to the bones. It will locate the, it will look, you know, I have seen bones grow out. The Lord spoke to me. He said, be growing out arms and legs because you have an anointing for bones. I told you about my knee, it was my nephew whose leg was twisted. And I said, I command his legs to be straightened. The first time, nothing happened. The next time again, I command his legs to be straightened. When he walked, was walking like this. <laughs> The third time I went, ah, said, man of God, speak. I said, are you sure you don't want to see the doctor? He said, man of God, speak. Ah, oh, may women, may God give you faith. Amen. Bible says by faith. I don't know why he said the women had their dead. He didn't say the men. Raised back to life. Must have been their children. And there are women that, if such happened to their children, you see to what extent they can go. To any, so the Shunammite woman, you see the man was just sitting in the house. They don't joke with their children. And when they said by faith, the women, did he say men? He said by prophets, this is the women, it must have been their children. They got the faith and raised their back. Say, where are you going? Say, you will come after me. You are not going before me. It will not happen. And it did not happen. The word must have been burning in their heart. Then he says it was where? Encapulated, stored, and caged. Where? In their bones. Like fire. It was all over the bones. What is he doing in the bones? Changing structures in the bone marrow. Knocking out arthritis. Knocking out pain. Lubricating everything. Setting, they said when I spoke the third time. And they went to sleep. They woke up the next morning. They didn't even realize the leg had straightened. Say, mommy. Say what? Check out. His legs is straight. They were in shock. Wow. The leg straightened out on the bed. Overnight, we'll grow out arms. <laughs> if anybody in their faith has their arms cut off, get in touch with me. I'll grow it out. <laughs> I'll grow it out in the name of Jesus the Christ, who turns robbers to saints without cutting their hands. Did you hear me? Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. One of the ways to live in such a health 
as if your body has been redeemed, is to store the spoken word of God in your heart. When it enters your heart, leave it there. It will find its way into your bones and your marrow. That is its ultimate destination. But it will start in your heart. Why must it start in your heart? Because you will receive it with your heart by speaking it with your mouth. And your mouth will write it on the tablets of your heart. Then it will turn to fire inside your heart. Then it will move like liquid fire and begin to go inside all your bones and tissues. Mm -hmm. And nerves. You see all those dead nerves making them look like stroke. It will quicken them. Amen. They will walk again. They will not even know they had a stroke. In the name of Jesus. Praise God. Surprisingly, the Bible recommends again to stay in health. Pleasantries. Positive mindedness. is a therapy for divine health. Proverbs chapter 12. Proverbs chapter 12, verse 18. There is that speaketh like the piercing of a sword, but the tongue of the wise is what? Health. Health. You want to live in divine health? Speak right. Be positive in your approach to life. Have a positive and an open mind to life. Don't be rigid and see everything from a narrow perspective. Shockingly, it's a therapy for divine health. I know there's a place for diet. We'll come to that. I know there's a place for exercise. Body says bodily exercise profits. We'll come to that. <laughs> there are therapies for divine health. But well, the Bible says that having a positive, no wonder the Bible says envy is rottenness to the bones. You see somebody depressed, they cannot live in good health. Sickness is waiting for them. Don't be depressed. Depression is caused by lack of knowledge of what to do to come out of a crisis situation. That's depression. Rather, approach steadfastly God to know what to do. So Proverbs 12, 18 says, the tongue of the wise is health. Proverbs 16. I'll read verse 24. Pleasant words as a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and health to the body. Health to the bones. You know, everything is bone, intestine. Once they are okay, you are okay. Once your gastrointestinal tract is okay, you are okay. Once your bones are okay, they are okay. They, they, they are the major problems of health. The gastrointestinal tract and your bones. Your bone marrow, your bone network, your skeletal system. Your spinal cord is okay. Your femur is okay. Your hip, everything is okay. You are okay. Your gastrointestinal tract is okay, you are okay. Why? That's why they tell you to eat vegetables, fruits, so that your gastrointestinal tract will move. Why do they ask you to do exercise? Your gastrointestinal tract will move. Why do they ask you to do exercise? So that your weight will not crush on your bones. So once your gastrointestinal tract is clear and your bones are sound, you are in health. That's why he's always talking about bones, bones, and navel. Bones, navel, the gastrointestinal tract, and bones. That's what the word is coming to search out. The two major aspects, it will address them, and then the rest is minor. So, Proverbs 16.24 says, Pleasant words as honeycomb, sweet to the soul, health to the bones. Someone say, Nigeria is doomed. No, Nigeria is not doomed. Nigeria will come out of all this. Some say, the only way is to split. No, we don't have to split. We just need a man with an enlarged heart that sees every tongue and tribe as part of him. He doesn't see himself as one ethnic man. No, no, no. 
is a father to all. That's all. One man will solve everything. It's not a group of people. God will not gather groups of people to support him. It's always one man. And it will happen. Amen. You will make it. Amen. Now, that's what pleasantries are. If I can be doing that, I will be in health. My head, I tire. No, it's one of those things. Just rest. And if you continue, say the doctor, but well, let me pray with you. You'll be fine. If I can do that, it says you will live in health. You see all those people running down Christianity on the Facebook? They're all going to be sick. All of them. Amen. All of them. Why? They can't discern the body of the Lord Jesus Christ. It says in Corinthians, it says some, it says if you eat the communion unworthily, it says for this cause some are sick, some are weak, and some die. For because why? They didn't discern the body of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let me tell you. When Jesus told the rich man to give everything and he didn't give, does anybody need to tell you that it's a matter of time? He's going to lose everything. No prayer can save him. He says, whosoever holds back his life shall lose it. Whosoever loses it for my sake shall save it. Now he has held back his life. It's a matter of time. No prayer can save him. The only thing prayer can do for him is that he runs back to Jesus and says, I've changed my mind and I want to give it. Outside of that, it's a matter of time. He's going to lose everything. Watch what will happen to all of them that rose. And you can tell that God did not send them because God will not send you to solve a problem and create seven times more problems. God will send you to solve a problem and not create more problems. The solution they should have told is to teach the Christians to discern and give by the Spirit of God. Even when you want to give, the Holy Spirit said, don't give that man of God, then you will not give him. And once they don't have funding, they will shut down. If the genuine don't have funding, they will not shut down. God will send ravens to take care of them. If the fake don't have funding, they will shut down. Funding can't stop the genuine. It didn't stop Elijah. But it will stop the fake. But you don't say, because you want to destroy the fake, you now ask them to disobey Jesus and tell them, Jesus said, give and it shall be given. They said, don't give. So what it means, you are contending with Jesus. I believe you have been blessed by that message. And I know your faith has been built up. And I know all those challenges in life are all going to fall before you in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to know Hebrews 12 says, Jesus is the author and the finisher of our faith. You need him in this walk. And so if you're out there and you don't have Jesus in your life, I want you to say after me, say, Dear Lord Jesus, I believe you're the only begotten Son of God. Come into my life, be my Lord and my Savior. It's as simple as that. Displayed on the screen is diverse information on how you can interact and reach out to us. Take advantage of it, and I'll be expecting to hear from you. Till I come your way again, same time next week, I want to tell you, don't give up. Faith works. It's working, and it will work in your life. God bless you.